What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. In this video, we are going to cover Ravencoin Light inside windows. We're gonna to try to blast through this and get this miner up and running. So, first things first, let's go here and get to the ravencoinlight.org website and you're gonna to need to download a wallet. So you're gonna click on wallet, you're gonna click on the Raven Light Core, go down to the WinZip or obviously whatever system you're on. We're gonna do this for Windows. So we're gonna download that, gonna open this up. You're going to extract all. Once it's extracted, then you're gonna double click on the folder, open it up, then you're gonna double click on this wallet right here. Once you do that, the thing will fire right up. And as you can see, I already have mine synchronizing with the network. I'm still waiting for it to be done. I did it just before I started recording. So we're gonna let this do its thing. And now we're gonna jump into downloading the miners. So now we're gonna go back to the Ravencoin light page. We're gonna scroll down. I have Nvidia cards, so I'm gonna start with the T-Rex miner. So T-Rex 0.19.14. We're gonna scroll down and you're gonna to wanna to download the CUDA 11.1 zip. Click on that, let it download, open it up. Once it's open, extract all, show once complete. There it is. Okay, you have that miner. So now that this is downloaded, I suggest you take this and you toss it right onto your desktop. All right, so now we're back at the Ravencoin Light site and let's go to the Team Red Miner and download this one as well. We're gonna download the version 0.8.5 WinZip. Same thing, down at the bottom, gonna open it up, gonna extract all, show when complete. Again, we're gonna take this and we're gonna drag it to the desktop. So now you have a shortcut of T-Rex Miner and you have a shortcut of Team Red Miner. All right, so now let's open up T-Rex Miner. We're gonna come down here to Raven 2 Miners. You're gonna left click it once and then right click and hit edit. Gonna click more info because it thinks it's a dangerous program, run anyways. So this is the file. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna go down to the Raven Coin Wallet and we're gonna go to file and click receiving addresses. In the bottom left corner, we're gonna click new and then I will just write uh, CCXD Raven Light and click OK. All right, so as you can see, we added CCXD Raven Light and now we have an address. So you guys can right click that and click copy address when the time comes. But for now, I'm gonna X this out, put it down. Let's go to T-Rex Miner, open this up. We'll go down to the Raven 2 Miners bat file. I'm gonna go to edit. We're gonna highlight this entire thing and we are going to paste this in. So this entire thing that I just pasted in here, I will leave down in the description below for you guys to copy and paste as well. You do need to change the wallet address. This is going to be mine. Please don't mine to my address, unless you really want to, but please don't. Change the address to your own. I just showed you how to create it. And you can change the name of the worker right here if you would like. This is the password. You can change it from X to whatever you want. But for this uh, video, I'm just gonna hit Control S and save the file. Now we're gonna exit out. And to start the T-Rex Miner, literally all you have to do is left click it twice. As you can see, the file's running perfectly fine. What I would suggest though, is to obviously put your overclocks in and go from there. So I'm gonna X this out because I don't need that running right this second. Now let's go to Team Red Miner and I'll show you guys what to do there. All right, let's open up Team Red Miner. Gonna get in here. We're gonna go down to the Start Kapow and hit Edit. More info, run anyways. And right here at the bottom, we are going to highlight it and we're gonna paste this in right here. That's it, all there is to it. Again, this is my wallet address, my worker name, passwords X. I don't have a AMD card in this uh, rig, so I can't test this, but let me know if it works. I don't know if you guys need to add the pause underneath. Same goes for T-Rex miner. I don't know if you need to have that pause underneath the miner uh, algorithm or whatever in the bat file. But as you guys just saw, I clicked on Team Rex miner and it worked just fine. So this should be good. Then what you're gonna do is hit Control S to save it exit out, 
and then you should be able to run the miner but obviously again I don't have AMD so I'm gonna X this out what I want to do now is open MSI afterburner all right so this is MSI afterburner I'm just gonna throw these clocks on my cards right now and I'm gonna open up T-Rex miner again so right now I am currently running the ethereum clocks on these cards I want to see how it does with that again so you guys know I will leave this in the description below the line that you need to copy and paste for t-rex miner and the line you need to copy and paste for team red miner again just make sure you change the wallet addresses and the name of the worker if you want or whatever so I'm gonna leave this running for just a little bit we'll come back and we'll see if we made anything all right so as you guys can see had about 75 or so mega hashes and I just came down here and I kicked up the core clock because I know it's Raven coin so I know it's more core intensive so I just kicked it up to 150 I'm actually gonna X out the miner and restart it it's been running for about 31 minutes and 30 seconds right now so I'm gonna X this out I'm gonna restart it with the new clocks because as you guys know when you change clocks you usually want to restart the miner uh, actually in addition to changing the core clock I'm actually gonna bump up the uh, wattage so I'm going to go to 80 on the power limit let's save that and I'm gonna do the same thing here all right all right so I just adjusted the clocks so as you guys can see we're getting 61.97 mega hashes on the 3080 Ti and we're getting 30.49 on the Founders Edition 3070. The 3080 Ti is actually my hybrid. So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. I just wanna make sure, holy hell. So I adjusted the clocks. The 3080 Ti hybrid just jumped to 72.5 mega hashes. And the 3070 Founders Edition is at 36.24. That's insane. Hopefully it stays like that, but I heard this uh, X16R bounces around quite a bit from uh, Matt Electron's video. Jeez, 79.84 on the 3080 Ti and 38.93 now on the 3070 Founders Edition. That's crazy on Raven. That's a lot. I am not gonna complain. 114 mega hashes on Ravencoin in this machine. Well, I know it's not Ravencoin, but it's Ravencoin Lite, pretty close to it. So yeah, now it's starting to come down again, 75.31, 36.02. So again, it's going to be all over the place, but I'm going to run this until I get a payout. I want to see where this ends up being. I'm just super interested to see how the payout schedule works, if it's at like a certain number of coins, or if you just get paid out over a certain period of time. I, I have no idea. So... I'm going to dive into that, take a peek, but either way, guys, I wanted to make sure that this worked for you guys. <laughs> then look at that. It jumps right back down to 47.81 and 22.28. That's crazy. So either way, guys, this thing's up and running. Hopefully I get paid out soon. What I'm going to do is I'll leave this running for a little bit. If it doesn't take too long to get a payout, I'll show you guys. If it does, then what I'll do is... I'll end up posting this video and then giving you guys an update, letting you know I got paid or not. But hey, as far as I know, this thing's working. All right, so she's officially working. We just got confirmation payment of 2.971446949 RVL, which is Raven Coin Light. So super excited to know this works. I'm glad that I can get this thing going for you guys. Again, I'll have the bat file stuff down in the description below, so you can literally just copy and paste it, replace your wallet address, the worker name, and you guys are good to go. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure how long I'm actually gonna be mining Ravencorn Light, but you know what? It's like anything else. Maybe hold a bag of it, it might go somewhere someday, but at this current moment, it's not on any exchanges, it doesn't cost anything. It's just one of those speculative coins that you know you hope and pray that you have a bunch of it and it goes somewhere someday so yeah i hope you guys appreciate this video if you did please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and i'll see you guys real soon peace